Good morning, ma'am. I am Roxanne Badwa from Isabella State University, Rojas Campus, and I'm I'm here to conduct some interview about your curriculum in your school. So let's start, ma'am. Okay. So tell me about yourself, ma'am. Okay. I am Hazel C. Oliver and teaching at Palitod Elementary School, Paracelis South District. So how many years you've been teaching, ma'am? Okay, I've been teaching for nine years. Oh, it's so it's so long. So what? Grade level did you teach right now? Okay, right now, I am teaching grade 5. So how do you effectively manage your classroom and how did you manage the different behaviors of your students? Uh, in uh, managing my classroom, of course, I need to, I need to know the different uh, level and of course the behaviors of the learners for me to know what are the activities to be given to them. So next question is, so we all know that curriculum is dynamic because it's constantly changing. So here's the question, ma'am. As of now, what's new in the depth ed curriculum in teaching? Did you use a lesson plan or any format that serve as your guide in teaching? Right now, the depth ed curriculum in teaching is uh, uh, there was no new. But of course, uh, for us educators, we need to do lesson plan because lesson plan is our instrument or our our what is that basis to teach the children and of course uh, <coughs> uh, during the pandemic we are using the weekly home learning plan but now we are in the face-to-face -face, we are using uh, daily log lesson okay so how how will you implement the 4C is critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity in curriculum, instruction, and assessment? Okay, so for giving them the uh, group discussion, the 4C is already there. So it was implemented there. And of course, with the assessments, of course, you need to, uh, you need to implement the 4C for them to have, uh, for them to, uh, for them to, learn something and of course for you uh, this would be your basis for get, uh, getting their performance mm -hmm. so how about your grading system on their performance tasks activities quizzes summative and quarterly exam how did you grade okay. your children so of course uh, it is based on their performance what is uh, uh, what they got in their performance given to them, of course, that would be the, uh, that would be the, uh, is that, uh, you need to put them on, on the, in the <coughs> A class, class record. So for the, uh, the depth ed, of course, the, uh, we have, we have, uh, we are following the guidelines in giving them the, <coughs> in giving them the grade for the performance tasks, the activities, the quizzes. The summative and quarterly exam. So it uh, it was it has different um, percentage uh, for the performance and of course for the written and the quarterly exam. So, um, <coughs> but uh, in uh, in every learning activities like ESP, the performance task is uh, uh, the percentage for the for performance task is higher than the written quiz or the quarterly exam. How about your student who got a lower grade? Did you give a remedial class or anything else? Yes, of course. So, um, <coughs> for those children or for those learners who got a low a lower grade, of course, we need to give them remedial activities for them to cope with with the lessons that you are teaching. So, and, and for that, and for them not to left behind. So, how did you m motivate your student to have a good performance in the class of course we need to encourage them okay so by, by giving them praise if they <coughs> if, if they make something then of course you need them to praise that one and uh, of course for those learners that we have uh, that uh, got a lower grade of course we need to <coughs> encourage them we need to encourage them so that of course they may cope with the lessons that you are teaching and for the last question, ma'am, what do you want to say to the future educators like me to inspire and strive harder in educating the learners?
Okay, the thing that I can say to you is that um, a teacher, a teacher can change the life of children or the learners. As a future educators, we have the ability to. As a future, uh, as an educator, we have the ability to reach out that learners, and of course, we need to be a good, a good model to them. Sabi nga nila yung mga bata, uh, imino model tayo. So, kung baga sa school, nakita ko sa mga bata ko. So, nakita ko sa mga bata ko, kapag wala nang, pa, uh, kapag wala nang yung, yung time, break time na. So, <coughs> may mga bata na pumupunta dun sa, ano, sa harapan. They, they, are, they are doing what I am doing when I am teaching. So, nakakatawa. Okay, of course, then, at saka, huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa. For, for, uh, there are some learners, learners that, of course, yung sabihin natin, they are the learners na nasa slow. They are the slow learners. Okay, huwag kang mawala ng ano dun, uh, ng pag-asa. You need to encourage. Yes, you need to encourage them. Of course, you need to encourage them. Sa akin, yung grade 5 ko. Just for example, I have uh, I have four ata. May lima pang bata na hindi nakakabasa. Mm -hmm. What I am doing is I am, I am encouraging them. And of course, uh, during break time, I need to call their I uh, I am calling them. Uh, then of course we are uh, I am teaching them how to read. And of course, yung napakasayang uh, party doon, of course, I started it uh, from, uh, what is that, August, of course. Ang pinakamasaya doon is, uh, now, they know how to read. Yun yung ano, uh, as educator kasi, yung pinaka-greatest gift coming from the uh, learners, na may bibigay mo sa learners na yun is, that... Uh, they have learned something to you. Yun yung ano, pinakamasaya. <clears throat> Although, there are some um, uh, problems. Maraming problema, of course, as we go through. But then, at the end of the day, kapag meron kang naituro, naituro sa kanila, of course, napakasayang parte yun sa'yo. That's all. You need to be patient to that learners. Be a good model. And of course, Embrace all the challenges. Embrace all the new, uh, the yes, the challenges. Yung uh, pag-change ng mga bata. Of course, ngayon, karong kar uh, lalong lalo na ngayon. So, ma nagkaroon ng pandemic na two years ata. So of course, nagbago yung behaviors ng mga bata. You need to embrace those um, behavior and do something. Tap uh, para at least mabago mo yung the the bad deeds to good deeds that's all thank you for the great um inspiration and advice ma. and thank you for giving your time to have this interview